Hi, I'm Caroline from Ecolocity, and we love to help you find your flow, whether it's figuring out solutions for your work management or your project management, especially if you're using some of our favorite tools like Microsoft Teams and Smartsheet. Today, I'm talking about my top three Smartsheet Teams integrations. How can you use these two tools together? I love it when I can receive Smartsheet notifications as direct chat messages in Teams. I also like to send automatic notifications from Smartsheet to a Teams channel. And I like to add Smartsheet assets as tabs within channels. So let's take a look at these three. How do you set them up and how do you use them? So looking here in Teams, that first integration that I mentioned is getting direct messages within Teams from Smartsheet. In order to allow this, you do need to make sure your Microsoft admin has enabled the integration through the Microsoft Admin Center. That's something they'll have to do from the Microsoft side. But once they have allowed the Smartsheet integration, you can add it as an app. I've already added it, so it shows up here in my menu when I click on the Smartsheet app. And it's a pretty straightforward little app. It's really just bringing in all these kinds of messages directly from Smartsheet. So you'll see them, you'll get the little ping if you have it set up that way within your Teams of update requests, approval requests, alerts, reminders, mentions. And there's one that I got right here. Someone requested that I update their online sheet and I can see this directly in Teams without having to go into Smartsheet first. Pretty straightforward one. You, there, there's not a ton, of, a ton of additional functionality on this, but I find it really valuable because I'm often switching back and forth. I'm often, often working somewhat in Smartsheet, somewhat in Teams throughout my day, and this helps me catch things when I'm more focused on uh, Teams that may be happening back in Smartsheet. The next one that I like to set up on projects is gonna actually be through an individual asset within Smartsheet. So, setting up automations on a particular smart sheet to come in back into Teams, but to a Teams channel so that everyone who is a member of that team is going to see the post coming through from Smartsheet on that channel. This is actually set up on an individual automation. So I've got right here an example crate log. This is Echo's version of what some people know as a raid log. It's where we're logging things like changes, risks, action items, issues and decisions. So here on my crate log, I want to add an automation and let's make it a special one that flags when a new risk has been created because that's something I want my team to immediately know about when a, a risk has been added to my crate log. So I'm going to come here to the automation menu, choose manage automation workflows. I'll use one of these templates, alert someone with specified criteria are met and choose use template and I'm just going to call it new risk. So when I'll use the criteria, it's the, the Smartsheet system column when the created two changes to any value. So just any time a row is created and it populates the automatic date when that was created, check the condition where the crate type is one of risk. And I want to send this. I don't want to just alert someone. We'll click on these three dots and say change action. I want to alert a Microsoft Teams channel. So that's one of my choices here. It's already filled in my options. If you're doing it for the first time, it may prompt you to log into Teams or something like that. But it should fill in then send to Microsoft Teams and then my organization. Now I have the option to select a team and I am gonna do my Microsoft practice team. And then select a public channel. If you have a private channel in a team, that's not enabled with this integration, but any channel that's public you should be able to do. I will send it to the general channel. And if you wanna customize it uh, as far as the subject, new, I'll call it new risk created and save. So now, anytime a new risk is added to my crate log, I'll go ahead and add another one. Risk number two, it's a risk. Assign it to myself and say it's due tomorrow. It's an open risk with a high priority, uh, no plan yet to mitigate it. And save. I'll come over to Teams, and I will warn you, it may take a minute or two, or even three, for it to actually come into Teams. It's not 
totally synchronous. But it will show up if I now look in my Microsoft general practice posts. I received a card that said a row was updated in the crate log, a new risk was created, and I have the link directly to the crate log. So this is the same kind of automatic notification. You could send it to email or something, but I'm sending it directly to the channel within Teams. And now I could discuss with my team if I needed to. You know, at Jason Lachelle, please respond to this test risk. And then you can use the channel post in the way you might normally to have a conversation about this particular item. So that's my second most favorite integration. My third one is adding a channel tab that's a specific Smartsheet asset. So I've actually done that already here in this general channel. I added a project dashboard. You may have to sign in to Smartsheet again if you haven't in a little while the way I am right now. And once it loads, it's gonna show the actual Smartsheet asset and you can you know, see it the way you're used to, scroll back and forth a little bit, but you can actually interact with it the same way you could in Smartsheet. So something like this, like a dashboard, if I'm going to have my normal functionality where I click on a link or interact, you know, here with the Gantt chart, I can drag it back and forth the way I normally could, interacting with a Smartsheet dashboard. Now, in order to do this, we click on our normal add a tab and you once once it's been enabled by your Microsoft admin you'll have the option to add the smart sheet as an app and it will bring you to the tree menu of all the stuff that you've got in smart sheet that you could add. I'll add something else as a demonstration so we've got some demo projects here take a look in there I've been working off of this project and I would like to add not just the dashboard, but the actual crate log from that project. So it's now telling me not all members of this channel may have access to this item. So that may be the case. You've got people who can access the Teams channel, they're members of the team in Microsoft Teams, who don't have the same kind of access to the asset within Smartsheet. You can decide exactly what you want to do. Do you want to share it with everyone so that people can interact with it? Do you want to just publish it so it's essentially a view only access or do you want to not share with members of the channel that don't have access to the Smartsheet item? So essentially you create the tab but only the people that have access to it in Smartsheet will actually be able to open it. I'm going to do share because I know that everyone in my case has the same uh, permission level and then you pick the permission level that they have. So I will do that and save. And so that same crate log that we were looking at, once it loads, here it is. That's the same crate log. And again, I can interact with it directly here from Teams in the same way that I'm used to doing it. I've got another one. Open, medium, and then save it. It will save. So now I've got a tab for the dashboard, I've got a tab to the crate log. So if I'm running a meeting or wanting to operate more out of Teams, not having to switch back and forth between the two tools, this is a good way to feature something directly in Teams. Now you'll see because it is a little bit of a truncated view, you know, a lot of these buttons and stuff are kind of off to the right. I'm, I'm working on a slightly smaller monitor right now. If you're on a bigger monitor, you could expand your Teams view. So those are my top three Smartsheet Teams integrations. They're really uses of the integrations. There's some other things you can do with these integrations, but those are my favorites. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the chat. Do you have other things that you like to do, connecting Teams and Smartsheet or other Microsoft tools? Let us know. Thanks.